would like to thank the different governments for providing COVID relief throughout the year. It has been wonderful. We, I mean, I spoke previously about our hotel system. That would not have been possible had not the federal government uh, gone uh, and given money uh, for this and had not the provincial government been so understanding of our specific needs and fears ourselves. We need our funders' financial support as well as their advocacy so that we can continue to be innovative in our approaches to reaching survivors from marginalized communities. And that is uh, a critical piece during this very critical time. And I'm really glad that uh, our funders have stepped up to, to be flexible and, and um, to provide us with um, additional supports during this time as we absolutely needed to be innovative and we needed to be able to pivot and we needed to be able to be flexible with uh, the responses to survivors in our community. Having a, a substantial increase in the number of calls really put a challenge on um, our daytime staff, our evening staff, our weekend staff, um, because often we're single staffed in our space. So if we get a call on the crisis support line, we've got residents in house and we've got someone dropping in for support or service, one person is responding often, one staff member to all of those um, instances and requests for support. So that was a real challenge for us. Um, which was mitigated to a certain extent with the federal COVID-19 funding that very thankfully was distributed uh, by Women's Shelters Canada. That enabled us to staff uh, a little bit better and a little bit more appropriately so that we could respond more effectively to that increase in, in the number of crisis support calls. And through these funds, we managed to keep our resources, you know, um, in existence and able to provide as much help as we could to as many people as we could, you know, and um, I'd like to thank the government for, for really both at the provincial and at the federal and even at the municipal levels for all the work that they've done, you know, to recognize the situation and the particular situation of women victims of conjugal violence within the pandemic.